Right, President Trump was good friends with casino mogul Sheldon Adelson, who died last night after a long battle with cancer. Yeah, the billionaire casino titan, of course, built, helped build Las Vegas and build casinos all around the world just days ago. He announced he was resuming medical treatment and took a leave of absence. There is a lot of reaction coming in from all over the world this morning. Fox 5's Faven K has more on that in just a moment. But first, we do have team coverage with Inkirika Suka, who is live on the strip outside one of Adelson's properties. Inkirika. Yeah, so Sheldon Anderson was the founder CEO of Las Vegas Sands, and he died last night after complications with his cancer treatment. Now, he had such a huge impact on the city and around the world. The billionaire and power broker was known for his casino empire from the Venetian to the Palazzo here in Las Vegas to properties in Macau and Singapore. He bought the Sands in 1988 and the next year built out the Sands Expo Convention Center. In 1991, while honeymooning in Venice, Adelson came up with the idea for a mega resort hotel, spending $1.5 billion to build the Venetian. It opened in 1999 and the Sands name landed in Macau, becoming the first Las Vegas style casino when it opened in 2004. Through a statement, Adelson's wife, Dr. Miriam Adelson, says in part, Sheldon was a love of my life. He was my partner in romance, philanthropy, political activism, and enterprise. He was my soulmate. To me, as to his children, grandchildren, and his legions of friends and admirers, employees, and colleagues, he is utterly irreplaceable. Now, he was 87 years old. There is a funeral plan in Israel, which is the birthplace of his wife, and funeral plans in Vegas are going to be announced later. Now, there have been reactions coming in from world leaders from all over the world, and for that, I'll send it over to Faye Kay. And Kirika, thank you. You're right. Tributes pouring in from all over the globe. Not only was the billionaire casino titan one of the richest men in the world, but Sheldon Adelson was one of the most powerful, with close ties to politicians and playmakers alike. Like Dave mentioned, one of them being President Trump. Adelson was a big supporter and donor, but Adelson will most be remembered as a pioneer in the casino and convention industry. This morning, Nevada Governor Steve Sisolak wasted no time sending his condolences and thanking Adelson for his many contributions to the Silver State. In a lengthy statement this morning, Governor Sisolak had this to say about Adelson. His vision of Vegas as a premier business destination had a dramatic impact as other resorts adopted this new business model and conventions and business have become a critical part of our success. But it's this heartfelt message from Nevada Attorney General Aaron Ford that really resonated with me. He said Adelson was a man not born into wealth and privilege, but rather the son of immigrants who grew up sleeping on the floor of his family apartment in Boston. He went on to say that by the age of 12, Adelson owned his first business and looked to the future with big dreams and a work ethic to match. By the end of his life, he says, Adelson amassed over 50 companies. A.G. Ford went on to say that following the death of George Floyd, Adelson invited him to discuss race issues with Sands employees to foster unity within our community. Well, that resulted in Sands sponsored programs in this community to improve race relations. It's something A.G. Ford says he will forever be grateful for. And, you know, I keep saying this, guys, when we think of Sheldon Adelson, we think about casinos and he's a billionaire. But his contributions to our great state went far beyond that and really speaks volumes to the impact that he's made, the legacy that he leaves behind and really the hope that he gives immigrants like myself that they, too, can come to this great country and become more than what they ever dreamed of. Well, and that's the thing. He he grew up raised by immigrants, grew up poor. As his wife said earlier, he was the American dream. An entrepreneur, as Aaron Ford said, owned his first business at just 12 years old. By the way, that business was selling newspapers full circle at the end of his life. As you mm. remember, in 2015, he bought the Las Vegas right. Review Journal. Right. So uh, something he was always interested in. And uh, I, I'm sure we will be learning a lot more about his life, Faven.